Welcome to Tesla Vision. Today we will talk about the most recent Tesla news and updates. Let's get into it right away. Deliveries of Tesla's all-electric semi will begin this year, according to the company. The information provided by Tesla in its first quarter 2021 update letter appears to imply that the battery constraints that have been hampering the semi's initial delivery dates could be resolved once and for all. Earlier this week, Tesla launched its first quarter 2021 shareholder deck, a review letter that keeps shareholders and enthusiasts updated on some of the world's most talked about car firm's lesser known information. The automaker announced in its product outlook segment that the Tesla Semi will now launch deliveries later on this year which is good news for the many pre-orders of all-electric commercial vehicle. The news essentially puts an end to discussions over battery constraints, a problem that has troubled electric car manufacturers for years now. Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, has previously stated that battery restrictions have been the key bottleneck impacting the semi-production. Musk stated as lately as March of 2021 that Demand is no concern, but near-term cell supply makes scaling up semi difficult. Next year, this constraint would be less onerous. Nonetheless, this is not a new problem. Mr. Musk stated on the third quarter earnings call in 2020 that we need to overcome the cell restraints prior to actually ramping semi to substantial scale. That is the only possible impediment to semi's progress. Due to its large size, enhanced range, and the need for high power output, the semi necessitates a large number of battery cells. The semi should have been built sooner, but it could have been hampered by the development of Tesla's mass market cars, such as the Model 3 and Model Y. Undoubtedly, popular market automobiles take precedence, and the semi project must clearly wait. Nevertheless, Tesla has not been experiencing any problems with the semi production per se. PepsiCo disclosed early this year that it would be receiving 15 semis from Tesla, making it one of the first companies to accept delivery of the all-electric 18-wheeler. PepsiCo stated that it had been anticipating completion by the end of 2021, and Tesla's latest forecasts are consistent with these projections. This year's semi-finals excitement has been particularly intense. Tesla has been assembling a group of semi-technicians in various locations. The car was also seen early this year on the Fremont test track in a video posted by Tesla on Twitter. Together with the semi, Tesla intends to keep expanding Model Y capability at both Giga Berlin and Giga Texas, both of which are on track to begin the production and deliveries in each location in 2021. Furthermore, the car manufacturer stated that Tesla's China-based production plant in Shanghai would continue to grow. Tesla recorded its seventh consecutive profitable year with sales of $10.389 billion in the first quarter, non-gap earnings per share of $0.93 cents, and non-gap net profits above $1 billion for the first time in the company's existence. On some developing news, Tesla and Samsung's partnership has become stronger with time. The two companies already have existing collaborations for full self-driving chips and cameras, two products that Samsung has already been supplying to Tesla. It has now been announced that Samsung's smart headlamps will be finding their way into Tesla cars, giving the collaboration some more traction. Samsung smart headlamps will be included with Tesla cars, according to Korea IT News. The smart headlamps are already in large-scale production and Tesla owners will be able to see them in new automobiles very soon, according to the Korean media source. Once Samsung's LED headlamps are modularized, Hella, a German car parts maker, will supply them to Tesla. As earlier said, this is not Tesla and Samsung's first collaboration. The two companies have been working together to manufacture the full self-driving processors. These are made by Samsung at a factory in Austin, Texas. It was revealed in January that the three organizations would collaborate to create a 5 nanometer semiconductor for the Media Control Unit, or MCU, for its autonomous automobile project. As per ELEC, Samsung Electromechanics has been providing automotive camera modules for Tesla automobiles since 2019, but the company has had various collaborations with other car makers since 2012. Surprisingly, Tesla was rumored to be planning an update to the headlights in Model 3 vehicles in December of 2020. 
Hella, which will supply Tesla with Samsung headlights, has an adaptive headlight system that improves vision in dim and difficult driving situations. The adjustable headlight mechanism on Model 3 and Model Y will improve the efficiency of the headlamps. Relying on the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety evaluation of the vehicle, the Model 3 also has the top rating for its headlights. Tesla appears to be striving for perfection, rendering its vehicles much safer than they already are. Tesla and Samsung collaboration has developed into a multi-product alliance for the two companies to enjoy. Tesla also uses highly powerful chips made by Samsung, which have been combined with some of the most robust engineering initiatives in the globe, as Tesla already has developed itself as the pioneer in self-driving vehicles. Though Tesla vehicles are not yet completely autonomous, the automaker is rapidly moving towards their target. Meanwhile, Tesla's Model Y is on track of becoming the world's best-selling automobile. Yes, you heard that right. As per the latest market projections, Elon Musk predicted that the Tesla Model Y would be the best-selling vehicle in the world by 2023 or 2022. On the company's most recent conference call, Musk revealed that the Tesla Model 3 had become the best-selling premium sedan of any kind in the world. According to Tesla's estimates, the Model Y can easily break the Model 3's record. At the first quarter of 2021 earnings call, Elon Musk stated, I'd say it more likely than not that Model Y will be the best-selling car or truck of any kind in the globe in 2022. After the chat, Musk echoed his forecast on Twitter, referring to longtime investor Dave Lee, who mentioned the number of Model Y automobiles Tesla would need to manufacture and supply in order to become the world's best-selling vehicle. Seems very likely based on sales in 2022 and potentially complete units in 2023 must road. According to Forbes, Ford managed to sell the most vehicles last year attributable to its F-Series. In 2020, the legacy car manufacturer sold 787,422 vehicles, a noteworthy achievement given the pandemic. Ford saw a 12.2% drop in F-Series revenues, indicating the pandemic's effect. In terms of individual car sales, the Chevrolet Silverado was amongst those who led the charts in 2020, selling over 500,000 units. Given COVID's global footprint, Tesla may target to outperform Ford and Chevy's 2020 revenues in the shortest term. According to Statista, the Toyota Corolla was the best-selling vehicle in the world a year before the pandemic in 2019, with over 1.2 million units sold. Tesla will have manufactured nearly 500,000 electric vehicles by 2020. Tesla Gigafactory Texas and Giga Berlin Model Y production could enable the company to match the Toyota Corolla's 2019 sales record. Giga Shanghai already has begun Model Y production and will most likely contribute significantly to Tesla's target for the model. Model Y manufacturing volume in Shanghai continues to increase rapidly, and the two new plants in Berlin and Texas are showing progress, Tesla wrote in its first quarter 2021 update letter. During the first year, there was a 41% rise in charger outlets. The best service is no service, that is, higher efficiency in the operations. So, a two-headed beast, great service and less need, which is what they are focusing on. The majority of owners are pleased with their experiences, but there will still be those who disagree. With their capacity to expand at a rate of 50% each year over the past 8 or 9 years, and their ambitions rising to 20 million by 2030, it is entirely within their reach to maintain the streak with the exceptions of 2021, when Fremont and Shanghai more closely approach capacity, 1 million plus units combined, and 2022, when Berlin and Austin both flood the market with over 500,000 vehicles, while basically gearing up their factories with an estimated capacity of 2 million units each by 2023. The whole global climate situation requires the sorts of speeds that Tesla is undertaking, and while we won't know whether they can succeed until they do or don't, there is a positive mood for the sake of fans and, of course, for the sake of the shareholders. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.